Well, hello there guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my very first Halloween of the 2017 haunting season. If you don't know what these are, I do Halloweens where I just show you all the Halloween crap that I've gotten <laughs> so far this year. I didn't do one, I haven't done one until now because honestly um, I have not had time to go Halloween shopping. I really am just now starting to get excited about Halloween and like to sort of even like focus on it at all. <laughs> so I have a small Halloween haul that I would like to share with you right now. Let's just go on and get started, shall we? So the first thing I guess that I'll talk about is this scarf. It's an infinity scarf. Let me take it off and show you. Um, it's an infinity scarf, so it's all together. And it has like little tufts on it, which I could do without, but whatever. It's just like a sheer bat scarf. And it doubles over pretty easily, I think, yeah. So that'll be really nice when it gets chillier. It's like still been really, really hot here, so sucks um but eventually it'll get cold and this will be nice to wear you know with like a leather jacket it was three bucks and i got it in the target dollar section like you know in the front area where they have all the cheap crap that's where i got this it was really nice i think they had a couple of other patterns too but obviously i chose the bat pattern next thing also from target i got this silicone pumpkin mold I've been making a lot of like small moldy things and uh, moldy things, small things from molds lately and I wanted um, a pumpkin one. I really wanted a jack-o'-lantern face but these are cute so I got it. I think it was only like four bucks, four ninety nine or something like that so it was pretty good deal and yeah. You can also make pumpkin ice cubes if you want out of this. Next. Also from Target, and the bags are like empty now. <laughs> there's, I think there's two more bats in here, and there's one in the other room in the bowl. But these are the Reese's uh, peanut butter bats, um, which are amazing, and to my knowledge, have never existed before now. And I think they're a Target exclusive. So definitely got these at Target, and they are really fresh and delicious, and they taste like nutty bars you know like the little debbie the nutty buddy bars that's what this tastes like it's amazing it's freaking amazing they're delicious definitely want to get more but probably shouldn't um and then got these dove dark chocolate pumpkins they're just like half spheres in with a pumpkin on the wrapper but still really cute got those then at tj maxx i got these bone candles they're really cute I think these were like $4.99 as well, maybe $5.99, but they're really adorable. And I've been putting them in these um, candlesticks that we got last year from Target. Stick it in there. It's sort of like I have to jam it down in there, but if you guys can see, it's like a little iron, like vulture talon foot thing. And I think it just looks really cute. I've been putting them on the dining room table. So that was really good find and that was from TJ Maxx. I wish there were more, but it was the only one that they had. And I've been back to check since and they didn't have any more of the bone candles, so I'm sad. Um, but hopefully some of you guys can find them because they are really cool. Um, then also from TJ Maxx, we got a couple of these bowls. A little like Victorian hat skull wearing lady. Because they kind of match these bowls that we got last year but they're just smaller so some of those two of those and they they were like around 3.99 i think not very expensive um also from tj maxx you know tj maxx always has the good stuff tj maxx and home home goods we got this hurricane i don't know if it's really it's a candle holder it's not really a hurricane because it doesn't go around the candle i'm not sure but the candle goes in there and it's got like this frosted skull on both sides. And it was $12.99. Sticker's still on the bottom. <laughs> and then we also got this little really adorable ceramic bucket. It's got skull and ravens and um, graveyard scene on it. And then it continues on the back. It's really cute. It's got like, a little wooden handle. 
And then inside, it's another raven on, on a gravestone. I don't really know what it's intended for. I don't know what it's intended for, but we have been using it as a wine bucket, like a chiller bucket for wine bottles. And I think this was probably around like 12 or $15 too. Okay, and then I really haven't gotten a lot of stuff, honestly, because last year we got a lot of stuff. So we already have a lot of things. So this year I'm only getting stuff that I really feel like definitely have to have because it's so wonderful or things that like I need to use, like replace or things that are actually um, useful. Also, Michael's has a lot of repeat stuff. If you guys notice, a lot of their stuff is the same as last year. So that's weird and just saves me from spending more money, I guess. <laughs> anyway, moving along. This is uh, Marshmallow Fireside, a three wick candle. They were on sale for like almost half off, oh my God, um, at Bath and Body Works. And I have always, pumpkin pie is my favorite Bath and Body Works candle, but they don't have it this year. So I'm sad, upset about that. I was very upset, but then I smelled the Marshmallow Fireside. And for some reason, I have never ever liked this before, but when I smelled it this time, I thought it was amazing. So I don't know if they've changed it or my olfactory bulbs are different or something. I don't know. I don't know what's different, if it's me or if it's the candle, but I mean, good freaking Lord. This smells so good. I don't think I can live without this candle. It's like aromatherapy. It's wonderful. I love it. I wish that it was just like a plain silver thing. Cause this like, it looks like rattan or like, what is that? The golden girls for wicker. It looks like wicker. And I just don't like this pattern. Those, um, three wick candles from Bath and Body Works. I use them for like cotton balls and, um, Q-tips when I'm done with them. Bath and Body Works. Um, it's kind of dirty on top. Sorry. But why am I smelling it? Sarah, I just prefer them to have these sort of like more clinical looking tops than these, these things. I hate that. The last thing that I have gotten so far this year, to the best of my knowledge, because a lot of this stuff comes in and it just gets like put into the house somewhere and I forget that it's there. So if there are more things, I'm going to be doing another Halloween, probably just one more, probably just one more. Um, so if there's stuff that I've forgotten in this one, I'll get it in that one. Okay. And the last but not least thing that I got was this liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild. It's limited edition. It's black. It's in the shade Widow's Peak. Um, I also wanted one they had, it was called Sleepy Hollow and it was gray, but sometimes you have to tell yourself no. So I decided to get the black one and I'm going to be reviewing this in my black liquid lipstick sort of compendium that I am currently making. I have so many black liquid lipsticks right now, you guys, it's freaking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. You'll see this in, in one of those videos. I'm gonna do them in different installments because there are so many that I cannot possibly put them in one video. <laughs> it would be impossible. So I'm gonna like review three or four at a time and do different videos um, because it would be like an hour long if I tried to, it would be like an hour and a half long if I tried to put them all in there. So if you want my thoughts on this, check those out. Okay guys, so that is it. That's all for my Halloween haul um, number one of 2017. But let me know if you got any of this stuff or if you have found any cool things, let me know because I'm on the hunt. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are well and I will see you all in my next video. How's this? How am I looking? Is it good? Does it work? Is it working? I kind of look like a pharaoh. Is that right? Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs>